All right, good morning. It is, it's now Monday. So uh, we ended up losing a day. Lita ended up losing a day when we came over here. So originally when I thought uh, we would go spend a day or two with Grandma, I thought we were getting here on Wednesday and I would spend the rest of Wednesday and then all of Thursday and then we would leave out Friday. Well, we got here, went and seen Grandma, came back to the truck, went to sleep, woke up the next morning, and it was Friday. So today's Monday. I did look, but I didn't look that hard, honestly. Um, I wanted to spend some time with Grandma, huh? Who, who do we have to shout out? Denny? Is it Denny? Mm-hmm. Uh, met, met a subscriber's wife at Walmart. Um, she wanted us to tell Denny hello. Uh, super excited to see us. It's weird. When I meet somebody and they're excited to see me, like I, I told Lita, I'm just a, like a regular dude. You know? Eat, sleep, and poop just like everybody else. She's brushing her teeth. Anyways, we've got a, uh, end up booking a load. I think it was Friday for Monday, or maybe it was Saturday for Monday. But uh, we're picking up in Ohio, going to, back to Alabama. Uh, Jack, I think it's Jacksonville, Alabama? Let me see, Lita sent me the Raycon. Uh, we're picking up at a Ritchie Brothers. It is supposed to be... 17,000 pounds. I took a screenshot of this thing too. Let me, let me double check everything here. Is this it? That's not it. Uh, South Vienna, Ohio to Jacksonville, Alabama. Yeah, I just, I wanted to double check the, the Raycon according to this. So the truck stop says 20,000 pounds, but the Raycon says 17,000 pounds. So, either way, just got done doing pre-trip and walking the dog. Oh, that's another thing. Um, one of the mornings that we woke up to go back to Grandma's house, because I can't park at her house with the semi-truck, we were basically bobtailing back and forth. Um, I woke up one morning and seen oil underneath the truck. That oil filter started leaking again. I'll show, you can see like the line of when we pulled up and then backed up to the trailer. There's like a line with a puddle and then there's another line with a larger puddle. And I went back to grandma's and looked too and it wasn't really leaking. It's like it had just started at grandma's. Almost like somebody popped our hood and loosened up our oil filter. Because the puddle at grandma's was like it had just started when we started the truck that night to go home. So we went over to Walmart, bought some more oil. I had another oil filter on the truck. I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna change out this oil filter. There's obviously something wrong. Pulled the old, old oil filter off, looked at it. I didn't see like two rubber rings like uh, some people suggested, which it doesn't really work that way on these oil filters anyways. The, um, the rubber rings aren't really like they were on the Ford, like when it got stuck on the Ford in the Mac. It doesn't have those rubber rings. It's got more of a, I mean, it's a rubber ring, but I guess the way it sits on there. Anyways, cleaned it up really good. Filled up the new oil filter with some new oil. Went to screw it on and it's, it's the wrong type. Uh, Amazon sent me, so I ordered two oil filters. They sent me one oil filter. Um, and I messaged them. I'm like, hey, you guys only sent me one. They're like, oh, okay, well, we'll refund you. I was like, okay, cool. I was like, well, I guess we got one oil filter for free. That wasn't the case. Went back and looked. They definitely sent me the wrong oil filter. So we had to clean up the old oil filter. I took the rubber ring off and cleaned up all underneath of that, and I tightened it. It's just something I'm going to have to keep an eye on. I don't understand how it's, how it's leaking. It wasn't as loose as the first time I caught it. I mean, I might have only got like a, a quarter turn out of it, but I don't know why that filter is loosening up. 
What do you think, woman? I don't know if it's a filter or if it, because it got loose one time, oil and stuff got underneath that rubber ring. So like I said, I took that rubber ring off and cleaned it all up real good and stuck the rubber ring back on. And I don't know. It's just something I'm going to, I'm going to try to twist that thing tight every single day. You know, I did see like a little bit of like oily residue around it. I'm like, well, I just, I didn't clean it up very good. But that morning there was definitely some oil. Anyways, they said for us to not be there till about 11 o'clock, it's 8.49 right now. Uh, I didn't realize it was a Richie's Brothers. So we're just gonna pull up there and hope, hope we can get loaded. And if we have to sit there and wait till 11 o'clock, then I guess we sit there and wait till 11 o'clock. Oh, you didn't look at the release forms? It's supposed to be a bunch of crap on pallets. Like, there's supposed to be a small air compressor that we have to tarp. And then there's like a bunch of, uh... Right here. Oh. Go Tent stuff. Okay, so that's the, uh... That's the compressor. It's an Ingersoll Rand compressor. I don't know why they want it tarped. It's one of the compressors that sit outside. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. Uh, and then it looks like, um... Eureka tents, three Eureka tents. I'm not sure what a Eureka tent is. There's supposed to be three of those. Uh, two more Eureka tents, so five Eureka tents. Am I saying that right? Eureka, you think? Is it spelled with an E? Yeah. Uh, and then three MGPTS tent frame parts. Weird. Yeah, he said it was a bunch of tent stuff on. Uh, oh, and uh, well, you made double copies of this, yeah. right? Am I reading this stuff there twice? Be seven items in total. They're separated by. Okay, class. so we got the air compressor and then a bunch of tents. Yeah, is what I it made, sounds like. I made two copies. I didn't know if they needed a copy. You know, like, when I don't make two copies, they're like, oh, you have a copy of that? Just a bunch of tents. But they're separated by paper clips. So the first bunch is one paper clip, the second one. Oh, okay. Well, that makes more sense. Yeah. I got you. So I wasn't reading it twice. There's just a whole bunch of tents. It should be seven and an air compressor. Uh, uh, yeah. Rotary screw air compressor whole bunch of tents well let's uh mosey on over there maybe we can get somebody to uh i'll show somebody some leg maybe they'll load us huh we got waffle house for breakfast today. oh yeah we got waffle house Since for we breakfast stayed at the waffle house all weekend yeah Penske only truck auction. All those trucks are Penske trucks. That's wild. Wow, look at all the yellow freight trucks. That is a pile of yellow freight trucks. They go all the way down. It's like a whole section. Bro, and it's like trailer. Look, there's even more over there. Look at all their dry 
guess let me go sign in. Sign in. She said on the back side of that, but it also says loading and unloading right here. Uh, three. All right, we just arrived. Um, it looks like we're going to be getting... The pictures that we've seen were of these big black tarp deals on these pallets. So I think we're getting a lot of those things. I don't know what they are, man. They're supposed to be uh, Eureka tents. I guess I could Google that. MGPTS tent frames and Eureka tents. E U R E K A tents. Never heard of it. Probably Hello. some type of military thing, I would imagine. It is. Anyways, E U Good, how are you? R E K A. Is this a dispatch service? It's just showing me small tents. Anyways, the uh, so the guy that we took that that triple brokered load so, for. So you're a, you're a dispatcher. Said um, he might have some stuff for us when we get when we get to Alabama. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Hasn't really worked out in a few places. He had something leaving out of Ohio going to Nashville, Tennessee. But uh, we end up finding this load. So we're just waiting on the uh, forklift guy to come load us up. We'll be good to go. See you guys in a bit. We've got Lita and the doggies head back behind this thing. I didn't know you were filming. No, it's fine. I wanted to film you vacuuming in your natural habitat. <clears throat> Because it says no dogs. I've never seen the no dogs thing. We've been to Richie Brothers a lot with the dogs. Yeah, they were there when we were dropping the day. No, I don't know. We left them at home when we were doing the day calves. We were home every night. I don't know. I'm not going to not bring my dog. I'm sorry. Not going to happen. I can understand if you don't want me to let my dog out and use the bathroom while I'm here, but I'm, you can't tell me who I can and can't have in my truck. Right, woman? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they, YouTube age-restricted the uh, video um, that I just uploaded last night. It's where I talk about... Uh, <laughs> where I'm talking about how women... This is why women make... Uh, this is why women make less than men because I have to hold the camera and she takes too long to do the work or something like that. They age restricted that video. I don't know. So that it's only suitable for ages 18 and up. And it's like, why? Because I was making a joke about Lita taking too long to strap down a load. You could probably come up here, baby. So you don't have to hide anymore. Oh yeah. Yeah. We're, we're back behind the building now. Hey, beautiful. What's up? How is it back there? It's dark back there. Yeah? Is it spooky? No. No? Is it hot? No, I have the vent open. Okay. All right. Wait to get loaded.
is this is this uh what happens after you eat taco bell <laughs> there's so much water yeah i'm sure we have a couple thousand pounds of water in this hurry up woman all right it's windy and it's ugly so i'm not going to show too much too fast that's what you guys get it's disgusting it pisses me off there's fat butts all right let's finish this up and get out of here Right, guys we are uh, somewhere in alabama at a uh, another jacks look at this nice jacks parking lot here it's nice and paved a couple of good spots trucker pass says there's always there's always spots here no matter what what day of the week um it also says on that sign no overnight parking and no drop trailers and we're definitely going to be parking here overnight but we don't have a drop trailer I guess now that it's dark, I can kind of show you guys this mess of, uh, this load kind of put me in a bad mood. And uh, I've kind of just been, I mean, it's not the broker's fault. It's not, it's not the buyer's fault. It's not uh, Richie's brother's fault. It's, it's whoever put these things on these pallets. And you'll see, like, I just had to run a whole bunch of straps in order to keep this all this stuff from just like bulging out and it's just kind of been a nightmare honestly i mean it hasn't been a nightmare we haven't really i've, I've stopped and like tightened them and checked them on them on them once but oh, we got somebody trying to back in here girls come on pay attention it's just it's just one of those loads that i was afraid like i don't know would would dot hit you if like a piece of that tarp was bulging out I don't know, maybe. And then the only way to really fix that would be to, um, you'd have to, they got metal bands wrapped around them. You'd have to unstack them and completely like fix the whole mess of a load. It's just a mess of a load to be completely honest with you. So anyways, this is where we are, we're at Jack's. Lead is gonna go get us some milkshakes uh, because it's 50 degrees outside and that's what a normal person does when it's 50 degrees outside i don't know 50 50 is really not that bad i'll eat uh, i'll eat milkshake i'll eat ice cream in negative degree weather Woo, girls there's something dead over there huh you smell that fat butts my goodness all right well i guess that's it for the night i don't know if this is going to be the end of a video we haven't i haven't really filmed much today so if it is the end of the video Thanks for watching. I've kind of been slacking on the last few videos telling you guys that. And I go back and editing and I'm like, ah, crap. Here we go. I didn't tell him thanks. So here's a triple, quadruple. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. And we will see you in the morning.